Hello, Columbia, and welcome to City View, where we give you an inside view at the City of Columbia. I'm your host, Leisha Yeetze. In our top story, the City of Columbia recently announced that the traffic study for the Bull Street Redevelopment Project has been completed. The traffic study has been shared with neighborhood leaders and residents who live in adjacent neighborhoods to the property. And also it's been shared with the general public and local media outlets in order to share all of the information gathered in the very large document that is well over 1,000 pages. Anyone who would like to view the traffic study for the Bull Street Redevelopment Project can visit the City of Columbia's website at columbiasc.net. In other news, the Go Red Columbia Fashion Show was recently held at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center. This annual event is a fundraiser for the American Heart Association. It was exciting as always. I mean, every year uh, I could see it getting a little bit better. Um, this year we had more vendors, more local businesses who participated and, and we had a lot of great models. Um, so I'm really excited about uh, the way this is taking on, the way people are in the community are supporting it. And I look forward to growing this over the next few years so that you know this will be a signature event to help raise awareness and money for the American Heart Association. It was our goal to, to do something fun that got people out, um, but also ha use it as an opportunity to educate them about heart disease and to raise money to support the Midlands chapter of the American Heart Association. So I think we were able to do that, and I think you know uh, during during the show I gave facts about heart disease, and I think that people were really shocked at some of the statistics regarding heart disease. And so hopefully um, there's something that they'll take away from tonight and think about how I can change something and. and incorporate um, a new healthy habit into my everyday life, but also share with their community so that more people are um, understanding how important and how serious heart disease is, but how they can really do stuff to uh, affect it and, and make uh, change in their lives and in the community. Another organization that the City of Columbia supports is the Muscular Dystrophy Association. The Columbia Fire Department annually collects money for this great cause. This is a very important boot drive for us as we partner with so many people in doing so. Uh, I think this is, this is one of the best parts of our, uh, when we get out on the streets and we actually collect money for the MDA. The Columbia Firefighter Boot Drive is the single largest fundraising event that MDA of Greater South Carolina does in the entire year. So these three days are critical to the services we provide for local families. Um, we have partnered as an organization with firefighters for more than 60 years. And as uh, Chief Jenkins mentioned, this year we expect to exceed the $3 million mark in only about 16 years with the Columbia Fire Department. So that has funded research that is making advances faster and faster every single day. Day. Now, from the Columbia Fire Department's Fill the Boot campaign for MDA, we take you to a graduation ceremony at the Columbia Police Department, where new recruits recently graduated and are ready to start working on behalf of the City of Columbia. Today has been uh, very exciting um, and, and surreal. You know, we started a pre-academy class back in October, so we did eight weeks of that, and then we got to the um, Criminal Justice Academy in December. So, I mean, that's a total of 20 weeks we've been training. So this day is just, it's amazing that it finally came. And now that we're here, it's its exciting, it's surreal, like I mentioned, and just happy to finally be at this step. Where we're gonna, I'm gonna move forward and actually get on the street and, and, and uh, serve and help the community. I've always wanted to to do a job in which I can help and serve people in a tangible way. And um, I have some friends in law enforcement and I've heard of um, what they do and I was excited uh, to, to, to give it a shot and, and now I'm glad I'm finally able to do that. And speaking of those new police recruits, some of their first weeks on the job are spent actually connecting with the community through a great program called Beyond the Badge. We've just completed our fourth installment of Beyond the Badge, and basically we're still continuing what 
uh, deputy chief started with wanting to have our officers volunteer in the community. And where we are, we've built such a, a coalition with the community that they're really happy to see us. What we've done is really still keep with the initial volunteering, but adding um, more opportunities for officers to really experience the community, to really work with the children, to really show the community that we are um, not as what we perceived often. City Manager Teresa Wilson was recently the guest speaker at Coffee Talk, which is sponsored by the North Columbia Business Association. I really use these opportunities to engage and dialogue. I don't have prepared, you know, comments or presentation or anything because I don't get this opportunity a lot to really sit with um, our community members so intimately. So when I do, I think it's better for me to hear from you. A couple <clears throat> of high points, just obvious things that are going on. It is budget time, as Sabrina, you know, mentioned, and so. What we try to do with the, any going into any budget, the senior staff and I is present something to council that you know we think is accomplishing their priorities as I know them to be, and then there's a lot of give and take that happens between now and July first when we have to have a budget passed and ready for the next fiscal year. So we are really heavy into that process. In additional news involving the North Columbia Business Association and the City of Columbia, they recently partnered to help open a new business on Main Street, Carolina Colonels. Mayor Steve Benjamin, Councilman Sam Davis, and the owner of Carolina Colonels all spoke at the grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony. This is exciting. You know, Columbia is going through a great renaissance right now and understanding that uh, small businesses, local businesses are really the lifeblood of, of, of the American economy and certainly our economy here in Colombia. Uh, that, that's, that's, it's important to know that. And seeing this revitalization of uh, the North Main Street corridor, uh, retail business after retail business, whether it's a fantastic bakery or uh, uh, the Vino Garage or, or a fantastic barbecue, and now this, we're, we're starting to see a, a very deliberate transformation that's following our streetscaping. Um, starting to see the uh, economic vibrancy of this corridor begin to reflect uh, the incredibly strong housing stock and neighborhoods that surround this corridor. This is a big deal. This, so this is a, a small, homegrown business that's expanding and staying in North Columbia. Um, so we're excited about, about Carolina Colonels. I think people who come by here will, will get some good food and pick up a couple of calories or, or two, and, and they'll be amazed at the creativity and innovation uh, that we're seeing come to life here in this business. Some of our local citizens showed off their skills and talents on the stage at Greenview Park recently for putting on the Ritz. Well, the idea behind it was to feature and showcase the seniors' talent. Um, I work with seniors every day, and I know that they are very talented, so we wanted to put a show together just to showcase their talent. Everybody seemed pleased with it. They enjoyed the show. They're looking forward to the next year's show, so I got a good vibe from it. Okay, Miss Ines Bush, she won first place. She did a wonderful monologue. Uh, second place winner was Patrice Sutton. She sang. And Miss Josephine Hall, she did a monologue as well. She won third place. And now we go from Greenview Park to Drew Park in the green space that will be the site for the Mayor's Easter Egg Stravaganza coming up on March 26th. Well, of course, we're going to have egg relays, jump rope um, contests, Zumba. This year, we will uh, have a community garden that um, where children will have an opportunity to learn about planting um, healthy foods. Um, so I think we're going to plant some tomatoes, maybe some beans, make it really pretty. Um, also, we will have a cooking demonstration. We will partner with the Adventure uh, Children's Museum and their cooking um, lab and so we're going to have a cooking demonstration inside of the Charles R. Drew uh, Wellness Center. So it should be, um, we're excited about our new partners and um, the cooking lab and also the garden. It is free, it is completely free. Um, we will have uh, lunch bags for the children, we will have the smoothie truck. McDonald's is a sponsor, co-sponsor this year. They are uh, rolling in their smoothie truck. It's free for all. Come have a great time.
the City of Columbia's Community Development Department is ready to kick off Community Development Week on March 28th. The week will be filled with various events focused on community development in our city. Activities will include a Neighborhood Leadership Summit and also pop-up stations in each of the City Council Districts within Columbia. There will be various events that are family friendly and very informative. For more information about Community Development Week, please visit the city's website at columbiasc.net or contact Community Development at 545-3373. Following Community Development Week, the City of Columbia will kick off National Youth Violence Prevention Week. The kickoff will be held on April 3rd with a Praise Fest for Peace. Parts and Recreation will be sponsoring the week's activities, which will include a youth forum and also a workshop focused on advising parents and guardians of what they can do to make sure that their children do not participate in violent activities. For more information about this week of activities, contact Parks and Recreation at 545-3100 and visit the city's website at columbiasc.net. Thank you for joining us for City View, for your inside view at the City of Columbia. For more information about the City of Columbia, please contact the Public and Media Relations Department at 545-3020 or visit our website at columbiasc.net. You can also follow us on our social media platforms. And make sure that you stay tuned to City TV right here on Channel 2, your 24-hour information station. And remember, we are Columbia.